Hi and welcome back to our channel. Do you want to eat German food in Frankfurt? You're gonna need to be a little more specific than that. In the traditional restaurants here in Frankfurt, usually they serve traditional food from Frankfurt. However, there are also some places where you can try regional German dishes. In this video, I am taking you to my favorite German restaurants and we will be eating my favorite German dishes. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and I am food guide here in Frankfurt. On this channel, we help people who like to cook, eat and travel to find traditional recipes and places to eat traditional food. I assume that authentic German food are the most popular dishes that come from different regions. And that's probably all what you associate with a German cuisine. I hope that the choice of the dishes won't disappoint you. The first German restaurant that I would like to show you is the Frankfurt Brewery, das Frankfurter Brauhaus, which is located next to Henninger Turm in Sachsenhausen. The restaurant is huge inside and in summer you can also sit outside. This afternoon I have decided to go for a beer, it is a brewery after all. And as you can see on the menu, they've got a different kind of beers. They also do serve apple wine because we are still in Frankfurt and they also got German wines if you like drinking wine. On the menu, under Brauhaus Klassiker, you're gonna find traditional fruit from the different regions. So you're gonna find some schnitzel dishes, which is a, a breaded pork with a different kind of sauces, Käsespätzle that are made with a cheese from Allgäu, also pike perch, which is a very classic fish that is served with a wine sauce, and finally veal liver, this dish is very popular in Berlin. And if you are not as hungry, you can also try the German Flammkuchen. So this was my beer. I was very happy that it arrived because for the moment the temperatures in Frankfurt are seriously crazy. And I knew that that's gonna be cold. I am not such a big fan of a beer, so forgive me the lemonade. Anyways, this is how the restaurant looks inside. It is very pretty and stylish and it can get very loud, especially during the evening. This afternoon I went for the veal liver. This dish is very popular in Berlin. It is very tasty, especially if you like liver. The veal liver is served with mashed potatoes, amazing sauce, some fried onions, parsley and baked or fried apples that go very well with the meat. The meat was so soft and tender that I didn't even have to use the knife. That was actually the first time when I had this veal liver in this restaurant and now I finally understand why the grandma always orders this dish in this restaurant. You can also try the authentic German food in traditional Frankfurt apple wine taverns. This restaurant is located in Altsachsenhausen and it's called Frau Rausche Apfelweinwirtschaft. And it's got this beautiful courtyard where you can sit outside, but also inside is very traditional and pretty. And because I was in the traditional apple wine tavern, I decided to go for apple wine. So what is good about this place is that they have different kinds of apple wine. I went for the Frau Rausche Speierling, but you can also have ap apple wine rosé. An apple wine made from one sort of apple, like Brunapfel or Boskop. For food, I decided to go for the pork roast, which has got a regional touch because it's served with an apple wine sauce. And this is my apple wine, uh, which is called Speierling, which you translate to service tree. And this wine is made from the fruits of this particular tree. And here was my pork roast with apple wine sauce, some potato dumplings and red cabbage. I will be honest with you, the roast could have been more tender, but the sauce was seriously to die for. I would definitely go and order this dish again because of the sauce. So if you are going to the traditional apple wine tavern, I would encourage you to also look on the menu for other regional dishes from Germany. And this restaurant, it is serious insider tip. You would not find it anywhere because it is actually in the middle of the forest. As you may have seen, Frankfurt has actually a city forest with a beautiful lake where the locals enjoy the nature and the airport noise. Actually there you can see that Every 60 seconds there is another plane coming to land on the Frankfurt airport. But apart from the noise, 
the forest is beautiful. We've got also a tree that pisses and the sign that says that for 300 years people or animals have been pissing on that tree. So now the tree will piss back. It is actually crazy and you saying that Germans are not funny. So let's just leave this poor tree alone and come back to food. So the restaurant is called Oberschweinstiege and they serve traditional German dishes from a different regions. They do also have some traditional dishes from Frankfurt but mostly it's actually food from the different regions. In the restaurant you can sit inside and also in the summer there is a big terrace where you can sit outside. In the winter they have a lovely fireplace and the restaurant is therefore very cozy. In the restaurant you can drink obviously German wine. The video is actually filmed by the end of July so we've got already Chantarelle on the menu. Here you can get also some German Flammkuchen, pork sirloin with mushroom and cream sauce and also schnitzel. This time I went for the beef roll because I really love beef rolls and I need to tell you that they were really good. They were actually amazing even. They were one of the best ones I have ever had. Surprisingly they were filled with carrots but other than that they had uh, this classic ingredients like bacon, pickles and mustard. On the side they had very tasty carrots and now comes the best they were served with Spätzle. Spätzle are kind of a small um, egg noodle that come from Swabia. I mean, just look at this. It's seriously so good. That evening, Matthias went for the meatloaf made of veal that was served as well with Spätzle and this creamy Chantalele sauce. I actually did love his choice as well, but I would definitely go for the beef roll again. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Please let me know in the comments down below what dishes you would like to eat on your trip to Frankfurt. I wish you all a happy week and safe travels. Bye!